Welcome to this, our final session in the Social Media Accessibility Basics series, created by Sharina Huntsman, Angela Fairbanks, and Lane Amaro. This has been a collaborative effort for the ADA 30 Idaho virtual campaign celebrating 30 years of the Americans with Disabilities Act, independence and accessibility. At the beginning of this series, we quoted Antonio Santos of Accessibility Chat as saying, accessibility is not a feature, it is a social trend. And as we've found throughout this series, becoming a trendsetter feels overwhelming at times because there are many new things to learn all at once. When we started this journey with you, we established three ground rules to serve as a framework and hopefully to decrease that overwhelmed feeling. These ground rules are keep it simple. Remember that simplicity drives engagement. Express yourself in different ways. Multiple means of expressing your message will reach the broadest audience. And it also allows your viewers to customize their experiences. And finally, remember that text is the great equalizer in the social media space. It is going to make your media accessible to the broadest audience and will serve as the alternative when you present different types of media. Keeping messages simple starts with plain language and organizing your information clearly with descriptive titles and sections. You should also be clear and concise and avoid overly complicated words and unfamiliar abbreviations or vocabulary. For example, we've been seeing a lot of personal protective equipment lately, which can be abbreviated as PPE. You should clarify that in your post. You should also know your audience and what they need and design your content for them. Your audience has diverse needs and preferences. Some people enjoy listening to podcasts or watching videos, while others enjoy reading text. Providing a video as well as a text tutorial with images for something like how to fold a paper airplane is a great way to express the same message in different ways. The type of media you use to express your message will always depend on the content and your core audience. If you write a blog to share your thoughts on a topic, it is not absolutely necessary that you record a video to share the same message. If you record a podcast or a vlog to share your message though, it's important to know that recordings, whether audio only or video, may not be accessible to your entire audience. Likewise, if you want to share a short joke or saying that motivates or entertains you and you create a meme or other image, you may unintentionally exclude a portion of your audience who cannot see that image. Text is going to help you make each means of expression, video, audio, images, or graphs accessible to the broadest audience. All text and text alternatives provide access to images for blind and low vision audiences. When writing alternative text, prioritize the information um, based on the importance of details that convey the purpose and meaning of the images in the context of your post. For example, when you include a personal or company logo in a post about a training you're offering, the alt text might simply read com company name logo and the remainder of the post text will provide details about the training. But if you are unveiling a new company logo to your audience, you might provide greater details about the logo in the alt text while including something like, check out our new logo in the post text. You can use text alternatives to give detailed descriptions to provide greater context when appropriate. This may be the best solution when you are sharing something displaying numbers or data, such as a chart or a graph. Captioning and transcripts serve as a different method for providing access to the audio recording like a podcast or a video. They make the content accessible in text for those who may not hear it and provide greater context and understanding to all other audience members. Captions, whether open or closed, are synchronized with the stream or recording. This allows viewers to read text as the words are spoken or as sounds occur in the stream or recording. Closed captioning is the ideal, as it allows people to turn the captions on or off as needed. A transcript allows text readers to review the content of a recording at their own pace and on their own time. For individuals who cannot see or hear the content of a recording, a transcript may be their only means of accessing your message. 
Transcripts may also serve as a foundation for quality synchronized captions that will be included in the recording at a later date. The text for transcripts or captions can be generated live by a real person or automatically by a machine learning or artificial intelligence service. They can be included in real time for streamed events or generated after the recording and added later. So one of the other challenges that we encounter is with videos and making sure that people who are visually impaired or unable to see the screen at some given point in time have access to the same details as everybody who's able to see what's going on on the screen. Sometimes expressing the same message in text just doesn't cut it. And video is one of those instances. Including audio descriptions is one thing that we can do in recordings in order to provide access to those visual details. Should not be done without planning though. And consider your audio description as basically another script to go along with what's happening in the recording. Your effective audio description or AD script should identify the details that are important to understanding the message and are not already known to the viewer through the dialogue or the background sounds. And it should also describe details using words and phrases that incorporate the use of plain language principles, as well as the pace and tone of the content of the recording. Remember that if the recording of the content is serious or somber, you don't want to use a tone of voice that reflects excitement. Most of the social media platforms we use allow for the inclusion of some or all of the different strategies for accessible means of expression. There are still some limitations specific to adding audio description to recordings and including real-time closed captioning and streams. But as we observed over the past few months, improvements have been made to YouTube and Facebook to add captioning. Additionally, YouTube recently introduced iDescribe for select channels to add audio description. Many of the different platforms are working to provide the accessibility features for people with disabilities to access and engage with the content you create. At the same time, they're working to make it easier for you to include the accessibility features. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We are thrilled you are going to be among today's accessibility social trend centers. Be sure to check out our other social media accessibility basics videos for more tools and strategies and join us in creating a culture of accessibility in social media.